was her last chance. Good evening, Rodney. I have never been so insulted in my life. Well, sit down, bruv. Let me have a try. <laughs> What's happening? Rodney's left Cassandra. What, again? That's the third time in 18 months you two have broken up for good. Yeah, well, this time it is for good. Does that mean our invitation for dinner is off, then? <laughs> well, of course it does. What's brought all this about? You will not believe this. She accused me of being childish. No. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. Can you... <laughs> wait, wait, that's my top you're throwing about there. Well, tonight was the last straw. Really? What did you do tonight? Tread on your scalectrics? <laughs> Derek, my marriage is broken up. This is no time for sarcasm. All right, all right, Rodney, all right. Just calm down, will you? Finish your drink, and I will drive you home, and we'll see if we can sort it out, all right? Bill, you don't understand. I'm not going back. Me and Cassie are finished for good. Oh, uh oh. Albert, brandy. Rodney, you'll have to at least talk to her sooner or later. There'll be things to be discussed. Yes, like who gets custody of Barbie and Ken? <laughs> <laughs> this is all one big bloody joke to you, isn't it? No, it's not, Rodney. It's just that you and Cassandra are behaving like a couple of ten year olds, don't you, eh? I mean, you've broken up and gone back together more times than JR and Sue Ellen. Yeah, well, this time it is for good. Mm. I am staying here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Albert. You better go and get some blankets and some pillows and make up a bed for Rodney on the settee. The settee? Yeah. Oh, I keep in my old room. Oh, Rodney, you can't keep in your old room because, uh, you know, that Raquel sleeps in there, right? Sorry. What's Raquel in my room? I thought you two. Ah. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me a minute, will you, sweetheart? Uh, Rodney, excuse me, may I have a word with you in the boardroom? <laughs> Thank you. I thought you and Raquel. No. <clears throat> what, you mean you're not. No. Have <laughs> you been here over a fortnight? No. That must be a record. <laughs> Rodney, you came storming in just at the moment when I was asking Raquel if she would be kind enough to consider stamping my card. <laughs> well, you just left the saddle, will not you? say, I'm back now, so like it or lump it, she's got a kit with you. No, no, Rodney, come here. Look, you don't understand, do you? You don't understand at all because, you see, Raquel, Raquel is a lady. You see, and when a lady is ready to, 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 to uh... <laughs> well, when she's ready to, she will let me know. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> well, you know, she'd give me a sign or something. Like what? <laughs> what well, I don't know. Perhaps she put an announcement in the Sunday sport, eh? Yes. <laughs> All I know is that until that happens, you will be kipping on the settee and think yourself lucky. Suits me. Anything's better than sleeping next to a cold pair of shoulders. <laughs> you gonna let him stay? I don't know, sweetheart. I just don't know. I just do not know what to do for the best. Let the boy stay for a few days, Del. God, that's better. I was starving. <laughs> Send him back to his wife. <laughs> I fought a war for you. 